during a Little League football game ended with a coach shot and killed. It happened this weekend in Lancaster, just south of Dallas. Argument, which led to a physical altercation, with, which led to shots being fired, and a youth football coach was pronounced dead at the hospital late last night. Now, friends and family have identified the victim, the youth football coach, as Mike Hickman. In a shelled in a little bootleg ass studio. Wow, what's the motherfucker that came here, man? Welcome back to Sheldon's Bootleg Ass Studio, where you come to kick it, vibe out, and shoot the shit with Sheldon. Say, if you ain't subscribed to the channel by now, you're doing myself and yourself a disservice. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, and tap that notification bell as well. That way, you are amongst those who are notified as soon as I release new content. Also, don't be shy. Drop me something in that comment section. That way I can familiarize myself with you and recognize who you are as we are reacting to the videos. And I appreciate all my viewers. So if you drop me something in that comment section and I see it, I will respond to it. So you might just want to be on your best behavior because if you're a troll, <laughs> I will get on your dog ass. Indubitably. Video of today, man, we have an unfortunate situation happening out of Lancaster, Texas. It's pronounced Lancaster. For the ones who don't know how it's pronounced, who pronounce it Lancaster, it's Lancaster, you know, uh, here in Texas. I know it's pronounced Lancaster in other places, but here in Texas, it's pronounced Lancaster, and you always have to pronounce it like the locals pronounce it. You see what I'm saying? Anyway, that's not important. What's important is what happened. Um, a Lancaster coach is being remembered after a fatal shooting at a Little League football game, and the suspect is still at large. All right. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's go and jump up in this news right now. If you ain't fucking with my nigga Sheldon, nigga, fuck you. Yeah. All right, it says a Lancaster coach remembered after fatal shooting. Suspect still at large. All right, we have Lancaster police are looking for a man who they say shot a football coach after a disagreement between coach and staff Saturday evening. According to police, at approximately 8.50 p.m., officers were dispatched to multiple calls for service at 1749 Jefferson Street in Lancaster, commonly known as Lancaster Community Park. During the disagreement, the opposing coach staff was involved in a physical altercation, and one of the individuals involved discharged a firearm, striking an adult male, Lancaster police said. Officers have identified a suspect involved in the altercation as Yaqub Salik Talib. I know I probably butchered that. Talib is the brother of Aquib. Of Aquip, I don't know. Talib, a former NFL cornerback. I, I don't know. I, I don't watch sports like this, so I don't know. I don't know a lot of these uh sports players if they're not a household name. All right, it says there's an active warrant for his arrest. And this is what this son of a look like. You know what I'm saying? Police said the victim identified as Coach Mike Hickman. Coach Mike Hickman was tr was transported to a local hospital for treatment where he was later pronounced dead. Texas Sport, a youth athletic league, posted the group's condolences to the family on Facebook Sunday. Tonight, we lost a great father, son, husband, and coach. He was coaching his son and team today at a sporting event somewhere in Dallas when his life was taken by a coward. The post said, we pray for the family and our community at this crazy time. In youth sports. A spokesman with Texas Sports tells NBC5 Hickman had been coaching in the league for years. However, we're told Saturday's event was not hosted by their league, but a different organization. Here's a post. Here's a post by Texas Football Life via Twitter. We send our deepest thoughts and prayers to the family, friends, former teammates, and players of Coach Mike Hickman. After learning about the appalling 
tragedy that took place earlier this evening in Lancaster. Man, that's sad. Recalling Saturday events, Pastor Keith Hall answered a call from someone telling him that one of his members, Mike Hickman, was hurt. He immediately called Hickman, but he didn't get an answer. How then called Hickman's wife, who broke the news. And when I called her and she said, Pastor, he didn't make it. He didn't make it. And she was just heartbroken. And all of the air sucked out of us, Hall said. Man, this is terrible, terrible news. Hall said Hickman was active in the church, Grace Temple Fellowship, and passionate about coaching youth football. People gravitated to him. They loved him, and they called him coach. He took time with them, Hall said. This is just the type of person, that's just the type of person he was. Parents who attended the youth game said the yelling, the screaming, and the shouting happened in front of the children. Of course. I just imagine all of the kids saw that, and they're going to have to relive that, said Hall. He said the loss is devastating. We have two lovely children who don't have their father in their life now, he said. We have a wife that is heartbroken and a family that is going through. And it's very difficult. And we all have to and we all need to be praying for them. Pastor Keith Hall tells us Jennifer Hickman, a teacher murdered in 2020, was coach Mike Hickman's sister. Damn. So he just lost his sister two years ago. Man. And then another post that I read on social media said he was battling depression with that. Man, it's so sad, man. And my thing of it is the suspect is still at large. I got a uh, news clip I'm going to play for y'all. Y'all stick around. All right. My thing of it is the suspect is still at large. What you running for? You did it in broad daylight, first of all. Like, can't nobody, like, ain't nobody seeing you. You might as well have sat there and stayed till the police got there. Why run? They already know who you is. They can identify you. Where you going to, bro? You ain't going to get away for long. They're going to have you by the end of the week or something. Y'all mark my words. Probably going to have his ass tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? He ain't going to get far. Like, I don't get people that do, that does this type of murder in broad daylight and act like can't nobody see them, ain't nobody saw them, and they take off running. You may as well have just stayed there because you're going to get caught anyway. Why? If you want to do something egregious like that, it would make much more sense to try to get away. Do it at nighttime or do it when ain't nobody... Paying attention when people are least expecting it. I ain't telling you what to do, and I'm not encouraging any type of criminal activity. I'm just saying what makes sense here is that somebody would try to get away, wouldn't it? And if you brave enough to do this in front of everybody, you may as well be brave enough to send your ass, sit your ass down in jail for it and wait for the police to get there. But anyway, let's jump off into this uh, news clip. According to Fox 4, we've just... Uh, had a source from DFW, NBC DFW. Let's get into Fox 4 News. Y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Police say an argument during a Little League football game ended with a coach shot and killed. It happened this weekend in Lancaster, just south of Dallas. Fox 4's Peyton Yeager spoke to witness as police search for the suspect. Peyton? Right, Blake, just before 9 p.m. last night, Lancaster police were dispatched out here to Lancaster Community Park. They tell us there was some sort of disagreement between opposing coaching staff, and that led to a argument, which led to a physical altercation, with, which led to shots being fired, and a youth football coach was pronounced dead at the hospital late last night. Now, friends and family have identified the victim, the youth football coach, as Mike Hickman. Hickman coaches for Dragon Elite Academy. His nine-year-old son is on the team. Parents of Dragon Witnessed Elite Academy all. tell us the opposing team's parents and coaches, they became angry due to the final score of the game and started yelling at the referees. That's when a physical fight began. And police say a man from the opposing coaching staff, now identified by police as Yaqib Talib, fired a gun. Hickman was shot and later died at the hospital. Friends and family and fellow coaches of Hickman are left stunned. It's not that important, guys. It's not. It's not that serious. No one is 
no no one should come to a nine-year-old's game and be fearful for their life or be fearful of my my son might get, get shot while he's playing football. Like, come on, y'all. This has to stop. Again, police are still looking for Talib. He has been identified as the shooter. There is an active warrant for his arrest. Earlier this afternoon, I had a chance to speak with some parents who were out here watching their children play football. They tell us they heard the shots being fired. Their immediate reaction was to get their children and other kids to safety. They tell us these children are traumatized. Some don't even want to go to school. Some never want to play sports again. Again, Hickman, the man who was shot and killed, is a father and his son plays on the team and witnessed the shooting last night. Mm. Well, there you have it. Sad situation. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Man, just imagine what kind of trauma those kids gonna go through, man. They could have been shot. They, he could have easily have accidentally shot one of them or anybody else or his kid that was on the team. If his kid was a, yeah, it was a parent. So yeah. Anyway, man, if you vibed all the way out to the end, I really do appreciate you. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave me your thoughts below. Yes, indeed. Until next time, I'm sure the vibes. I'm gonna need y'all to be cool like the other side of the pillow. Stay light on your toes, like you suppose. <laughs> oh yeah, no. If you ain't fucking with my nigga Sheldon, nigga, fuck you. Yeah. Oh God.